Yeah, so we're not trying to the differential track. Differential, I'm sorry, differential. So yeah. um, also it'll smooth out your shifting. Dodge, Dodge has some chatter stuff going on. So if you yeah, if you use the multi-vehicle ATF, I had a 2007 Dodge Grand Caravan. And the Grand Caravan that year, whatever transmission they had in there, because I could slip my mind, about 4045, you get like this the torque converter shutter. And they have this little tube of stuff. That's it's uh, it's called shutter stop. The tube is literally it's about an ounce and a half, two ounces of fluid. You drop it in there. No, the shutter goes away. Ah, oh. but you could also, if you wanted, use signature series multi vehicle ATF. Just do it. And that'll take care of the shutter as well. So uh, good flush. All right, next question. All right, Mr. Josh Pickle with a 2004 Chevrolet Tahoe, 200,000 miles. He asked a couple of things. First thing he asked was, uh, 200K, was it a good deal or not a good deal for $2,600? Uh, if it runs good, it's a good deal. It's a damn good deal. If it doesn't run, oh boy, I've got some uh, beachfront property up in Montana I'd like to get you hooked up with. And uh, we really appreciate you being a part of the channel, Josh. Yes. Thanks, if you have any other questions, just holler at us, let us know. And the, the follow-up the follow question was, where do I start? I figure the simple place to start is the same place I started, that's right. We got an engine flush, signature oil, a can of the uh, upper cylinder, and a can of the PI, which I don't have here because I sold the last one today. Yep. Sorry. I, it's moving through like you couldn't believe. We can't even keep it. this stuff on the shelves. I love it. Yeah, I, it's just amazing how it's going. Oh, it is awesome. It's crazy. So that's what I do on the top hole. After that, I would probably move to the cooling system because I don't know if or if they did not take the deck spool out of there, but whatever you do as soon as you can, let's get that deck spool out and get some of the uh, low toxicity coolant and yeah, yeah, some yeah. dominator coolant boost in there. So yeah, but start simple. Flush, signature, PI, and the uh, upper cylinder. And I'm very, very sure there'll be a link down below. Yeah, so going to uh, the Anzoil page, you can go and you can either sign up as a preferred customer. If you got some big shones, you got some big shones you can sign up as a, a dealer because if you have friends and family that you know need the AMSO, take care of them. You be the dealer, you take care of your family. So it's up to you. I and your community. If you know people in the community can use it, yeah. it's a great way to just recommend it to someone and uh, you'll really thank you for it. Yeah, and uh, it's really. So. Beautiful. All right. And I had last but not least was pajama time. Pajama Time asked, um, is, is upper cylinder approved? Does anybody have any first hands on it? Well, I'm gonna tell you, I have first hands. Not only do I have first hands, even put this in my hot little hand the day it hit. The day it hit, this thing hit my hands and I put it in my car. Um, Honda was a little clattery. This quieted the clatter down. Obviously, it does not get rid of the clatter completely, but that being said, the injectors are shooting in and it's shooting this upper cylinder lubricant on the tops of the valves. It's also going in the cylinder. Cylinder walls are sealing better. The compression rings are working better. Everything is happy. So that's my endorsement. So yeah, I would say, oh, it also helps with gas mileage. Now, I'll be honest with you. I didn't have as big of a gas mileage boost with the upper cylinder as I did with the PI, but they are still, they're two separate products. They both do different jobs. The PI does the fuel stabilization. It also does the combustion chamber cleaning. It, it's more of a detergent based item. This is more of a lube based item. Yep, so the PI is a heavy cleaner. This is a beautiful maintainer. Yeah, silky smooth. And uh, this blew my mind. I have a 58 Corvette I put it in. I put this in my ex expedition I, I drive, uh, Friends Expedition. It made the valves quieter, and I got 0.9 average miles a gallon. Better. Oh, and Expeditions with that three valve frightener, clattery. They are. They, they are. do. They've got a little clatter on it. And it really butters up your car, and it's amazing that treats 25 gallons of gas. 
That expedition drive is good too. It's coming around. It's it's, yeah, it's well, it's Amazon. Yeah, it is. It's so that's Ford product in its finest light. Front to back, top to bottom. So yeah. that uh, that that takes care of the Q and A portion. We had three good questions. I'm glad. Thank you, uh, Donardo, Josh, and Pajama Time for Thank you. for checking us out. And again, hit the like, hit the subscribe, share it, send the pictures. We haven't given out phone numbers yet. Even what yeah. are we doing? Even seven zero two. 472-3614. You can call me anytime. One, two, three o'clock in the morning. You're asking yourself why. I can't even I can't sleep. Why? Please tell me about signature series oil and PI. It's why do I try this? How do I get my hands on it? Where can I find it? Can I buy it in a store? Ooh. Do I have to order it online? Yeah. What happens if I don't even know anything about cars? If I ask you the questions, am I a big dummy? No, not at all. No, not at you all. can ask me anything. You can say, hey, dummy, what do I do with this bottle of stuff? And you don't I'll tell you. You don't drink it. I'm the only one allowed to drink good products. Thank you, Jeff. That is my role. Thank you. Thank you for protecting everyone. Protection, protection, protection. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so. Jeff's getting, got in his head now. We got, we got even some, we got two lines for me. Line number one is the shop phone straight into the money. 702-433-5823. Um, that comes directly into the shop. If I'm busy, try the bat line. The bat line text straight to me. It is a text only line. 702-907-9227. So uh, yeah, let me know. And uh, you know, we've got we've got our regulars. Uh, James Maris, he asks me questions all the time. He'll hit me up on Facebook Messenger. Just and ask us. Yeah. As I'm more than willing to look. If you now want we're to... Facebook and Instagamers too. Oh yeah. Give them your Instagram. Oh, we are. Uh, the Instagram is at the Magic Mechanic. All right, and also, just so you know, TikTok at the Magic Mechanic as well. TikTok's a fun little thing. Honestly, the stuff I do on TikTok really doesn't have a whole lot to do with anything other than having fun and doing magic. And that's the most important oh, part. Oh, having fun about the journey. Magic. Yeah. If you don't have fun during the journey, no one cares. Yeah, and if we don't help anybody, no one cares. Yeah. Why should anybody care about our channel if we didn't help them? Right. right? Yeah. It's it's a win-win. It's a give-take. It's a take-give. It's a reciprocating, yes. lubricated relationship. Symbiotic. And it's never going to stop. No. It's like an engine with AMS oil. You Please. put that stuff in your car and you drive it super hot. Rock and roll. I mean, if you love your car, if you love it, do you? You put this stuff in. You put that stuff in. Yeah. And it makes the difference. And it's uh, it's like painting the Mona Lisa without having to see the process happen. Yeah. Like painting the Mona Lisa with a single beard hair. Whisker. Yes. Ooh. That was two, so I could paint two Mona Lisas. Yeah. He's got a backup brush for it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? The for, it's for calligraphy. Beautiful. So, uh, what else what do we else got? Do? I mean, Matt, uh, we winterized our car. Uh, oh, uh, emergency kit. Schmack. Let's, uh, since we're going up into the mountains, Schmack. you don't know what's going to happen. You need to have yourself a little emergency kit. Uh, emergency kit should have some sort of a solar blanket. Um, I like to have a small shovel. I mean, honestly, even a little gardening shovel will help if you tire get stuck, you can dig the snow out. I actually keep a, an old army entrenching tool because an entrenching tool does some cool stuff. Um, if you can get a hold of them, road flares are good. Uh, the glow sticks or chem lights, whatever you want to call them, I would get some weatherproof matches, some water. I was in the military and so when I go somewhere, I prepare to be stuck. And if I'm stuck, I know what I need to have. If you want um, some good high, high calorie content food in there, go to the camping place and get the um, survival bars. When I was in aviation, we called them sawdust bars. Schmack. These little bars this big are like five to 700 calories in a, little, in a little bar. This thing is packed with nothing but calories. And one Which bar. Is yeah, fat is oil. Yeah, it's lube. But don't drink this. No, eat no, the bar. No, eat the bar. But I mean, each one of those five to eight hundred calories, you can perfectly survive for 
several days with a couple of those bars. So just make sure you're covered. Think, think logically and, and this thing doesn't have to be any more than a little bag like that big. Yeah. So it keeps you safe. Maybe some jumper cables. Or even a jumper box. Or a jump. Oh man, you know what? I'm I'm gonna step up. We've been doing good not stepping up, but I gotta show them. Okay. I got some some proprietary content over here. Yep. Oh, there. It is. Okay, so I picked this up for my homeboys up at uh, this one was up at Pet Boys or Auto Plus. Big shout out to Suzanne, who watches us all the time. Hey, Suzanne. How's it going, Suzanne? Okay, so this oh my is made, <laughs> right, look at this. Okay, this is made by Duracell, okay? It has a flashlight that does two different brightnesses, and it'll flash, so that's like a road hazard thing. On the back, if you open this, you have two things. You've got that little blue plug right there, which is what that plugs oh. into. You have a little USB and then you have a USB charger. You put this on. I don't know if I did that. You plug it in and you can jump start a car. Without a jump start a regular car? You know what I jump started with this thing? I had a 2002 Lincoln Town Car 4.6 dead battery. That's a horrible starter and a horrible dead, dead battery. Put this little bad boy on, start it right up. This thing is supposed to be able to um, to jump all the way. This peak is like 800 cold crank amps out of this thing. What the heck? Yeah. Jeff? Let me feel that sucker. Feel it. It's light. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, put put that in my hand. Right it's now. the same. It's lighter than Dominator cone booth. So if you feel Dominator, this is a little bit lighter. How much does that sucker cost, Jeff? Oh, blow your mind. Now, I got this one on special because it was a special going on for $79.99. But if you drop a bill, it's 100 bucks. Honestly, one of these for 100 bucks to keep this in your car for peace of mind? Holy cow, right? It's, it's intelligent. It will not let you jump start cross because it's got a little brain box inside of there. That's um, awesome. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is your way out of the woods if your battery dies because Boy, nothing, nothing snaps. Where can they get that right this second, Jeff? Pet Boys. Go to Pet. This is specifically I bought this from Pet Boys, but you can probably go to any parts retailer, and they're gonna have to make sure. What's the exact name of that, Jeff? Give it to them. This is the uh, Duracell Duracell Lithium Ion Jump Start Box. Model number is DRL JS20. So, wow. realistically, and just how long ago did you purchase that? Not long. I bought this. I bought this about a month ago, and I've been using the hell out of it. And you believe in the product? I wouldn't tell you if I did. That's awesome. I wouldn't tell you about it if I didn't. It comes with a little. Duracell is a pretty trusted name. Right. right. It's not yeah. like you're getting. It's not like you're getting Joe Schmo China brand. Yeah. It comes with a little USB thingy. You can charge this in your car while you're driving. So it's fully charged, you park your car, your kid decides to go inside looking for their, their iPhone, right? It's two o'clock in the morning and they didn't turn off the dome lamp. You go to get up and you're about to go drive to go into grab you some breakfast and <laughs> that's that is a sickening sound, especially when you're very far away from anything. Or you're just damn hungry to get breakfast. Or you just need breakfast. Someone needs some flapjack stack. Or some coffee. Some yeah. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to be bringing coffee to the channel. We haven't talked about it. Ooh. But I'm going to get you toes wet. Tell me about it. I'm going to have my own proprietary brand of coffee. Brand of coffee. And I'm going to be sharing. We're not going to give names of what it's called. But okay. It's underground right now. Underground. And it's a local coffee roaster here in town. Oh my god. Ooh. That was the guy you had to talk to, right? We're going to be, yep. Yeah. Next time we're going to be giving you some coffee Ooh. and uh, it's about sharing the world. It is. It chokes me out. Ah, a little bit, a little bit. So, ah. We've discussed our safety. We've got our little our little jumper pack, which we want to throw in our life-saving pack. Um, talk about not having water. Honestly, in the back of every single one of my vehicles, I've got a case of 24 bottles. I like that. Case of 24 bottles. Hi. That does two things. First off, I can hydrate. Second off, God forbid I lose some coolant or whatever. 
I know it water freezes, but boy, it's better than nothing in your car. Schmott. So, schmott. You gotta protect, protection, protection, protection. All right, Jeff. Looks like that's just about it, huh? I think that's it. I think we've covered uh, everything for your trip. Um, We're gonna go ahead and put a little thing right here, and yeah. that's gonna be to some more videos. And also, you'll see some stuff on the cue cards down there. Yeah. That's a little thing in the corner. And that is to some other really good uh, playlists to check out. Awesome. So we've got some magic for them, right? Yeah, give them some. Well, let's, uh, let's clear off our table right here. Oh, goodness. Schmott. Ah! Okay, there's one. Get all this stuff off. So uh, first thing I was going to show you guys, I promised to show you a cool little trick with a quarter. Now, if you guys have any kids, nieces, nephews, brothers, cousins, and you went to a grocery store, what's the first thing, or in the la first and last thing the kid asked for? As soon as you go into the store, they see the little quarter machines and they want to throw quarters at that thing like they're going to win something. They're going to turn and they're going to get a Super Bowl. Now they're going to take the Super Bowl and they're going to look at it they're gonna bounce it three times. And then the kid's gonna go, but that's a Super Bowl. And then it's gone. That's, <laughs> it. that's how long, that's how, that's how far one quarter gets you. That's exactly how far a quarter that's gets you. That's a lot of playtime. That's a lot of playtime. And then what you do is you to get, you, when they lose the ball, you go grab the ball, you put it back in your pocket, and next time they ask for a quarter, you hand them the same ball back. A little schmatch. A little smart monkeys. I love that. All right, so what's next on the magical list, Terrence? Mm. Oh, my God. That's a great question, yeah. Um, well, I can go ahead and uh, give them a little quick card trick. Yeah. yeah. So, we'll go into one of my favorite classics of magic. Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, you want the classic first? You're right. You want me to okay. Yeah, no, we can. So we have ourselves, I'm going to show you, this is going to be, we'll call this close-up magic here. So we're going to get close-up. Okay? We have our matchbook. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one match out of here. We're going to strike the match. Oh, no. Wait a minute. There we go. Ready? Strike the match. Now, Eben, hang on to this for me. That's amazing. Yeah, sure. That's yeah. awesome. That's good. I love that one. It's a good one. This is why we keep Jeff on the channel. <laughs> it tastes like hell, though. All right, so All right. Uh, you said you had a quick card trick for us. Should we give him one? Give him one. All right, there you go. We'll take whatever we got here, Jeff. What do we have? We've got the Jack. Jack of Clubs. All right, I like the Jack of Clubs. Take the Jack, Jeff. Stick it in the middle. Tap your finger. And watch. Comes right back Whoa. to the top. Ha. So watch, keep your eye on the jack. Keeping it. Go ahead and tap your hand on top. See if it came to the top again. No, it's the queen. What the heck? Well, let's see. What happened? Tap your finger on top. Came to the top again. Oh, hot damn. damn. You just can't get rid of that jack. It's <laughs> mysterious. Mysterious. Do you think, uh, no, never mind, not an appropriate joke. All right. There's no such thing as an appropriate joke when talking about a jack of clubs. Easily. Spades, hearts, or diamonds. Easily. But, yeah, no, I, I still I tell people when I was younger, and I don't usually tell anybody this, but when I was younger, I played with my deck so much, I got stretch marks on it. I played with it so much, I unfortunately had to be circumcised twice. Whoa! The second time I felt it. 
and it was bloody. It bloody hurt like a. Wow. So I uh, put my deck away. It's mildly uncomfortable. Yes, I gotta put it away. All right, guys, we got the uh, we got Christmas coming up. Yeah. We got New Year's coming up. Yep. Uh, so we're probably gonna post some short shows. Yeah, we'll post some good uh, good content. Do some good. We'll do uh, for Christmas. We'll do a holiday special. Yep, we'll do a little holiday piece, and we also got another giveaway coming up December twenty eighth. Oh. So if you uh, haven't had a chance to be in it, all you do is share your channel on Facebook or Insta Game Assembly, whatever makes you feel better. Uh, you can tag hashtag even rockmaker hashtag express new and auto repair yeah. hashtag synthetic oil protection hashtag the magic mechanic whatever yeah, hashtag it all put us anything with us and make sure that you text me a screenshot of your share yes because I'm gonna physically save you in my cell phone and my cell phone is 702-472-3614 go ahead and uh, text that to me and I'll be able to save you and uh, we actually had our biggest giveaway yet last month. That was November. We gave uh, what was that, eleven hundred dollars, and uh, all different uh, items that they wanted. Yeah. No matter what they wanted, we got it, and uh, we made sure everyone's taken care of. So yeah. the giveaway is getting bigger, and that's right over a thousand dollars is actually awesome. given away in one month. So I mean, to, to be honest, we've shoot, we've been doing this for uh, uh, almost seven months now. Yep. So, I mean, that's that's awesome. Yeah. We're still going. I mean, that up to date, we've probably given away over $4,000 in, uh, in prizes. It's coming Prizes, there. gift card. Yeah. It's so, make us do more. <laughs> that's all I got. Make me send you something. Yeah. I would love to. And, uh, you know, it's just about giving back. And, you know, when you share the channel with someone else, you're helping them exponentially because they save so much money with the products. You know, I don't like to get into that saving this and saving that, but it's true yeah, though. It is. it is less emissions and all that. You're saving your car. It is. Let, let's just be straight up. You're saving your car and I'll be honest, <laughs> I don't like having a car. I mean, I, I deal with people's broken cars all day. People come to me on a bad day. They woke up, their car didn't start. Their car had leaking fluid everywhere. Something happened, it started smoking, you know, whatever. They come to me. My job is to make their day better. And what I do for my customers, I actually did something a long time ago that has helped my customer, but it was kind of passively. Um, I used to carry different types of coolant on the shelf. I'd have the green, the red, the pink, all the, all the different stupid flavors. Well, then I found a company that makes a, uh, a chameleon, all makes all models coolant. Once I started using that, my customers started having less cooling system failures because I went to a premium product from there. My, my bulk transmission fluid that I put in there is AF6 synthetic fluid. So it goes all the way up to plus six, which covers the uh, Dextron 6. And I never changed my price to the customer, but I used to carry on the shelf, I carry bottles of friction modifier. Where they, you know, you've seen those before, right? It's a little bottle you put in uh, an ounce per quart, and it basically changes the, uh, uh, the film strength of the ATF. And then I decided to just get better ATF. So the better the product, the better your car is going to maintain. You know, let's let's put the best stuff in there. I want to see more cars come in two and three hundred thousand miles. It's like your bank account. The more you put in, the more the you, you take out. That's right. If you don't put anything in and take care of your car, when you go and start slamming that gas, it ain't going to move. We, when you have this lubricant in there, your car is going to move. We had, we had one, I gotta tell a little war story here. You do. We had one here the other day, it was a little Kia Soul, cute little car, oh right? Oh my God. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> that's a dork. They pulled the drain plug, right? And this stuff is coming out thick and chunky, like spoiled chocolate milk. <laughs> he pulled the dipstick and I had sludge. And then normally when you sludge a dipstick, it'll be like the first four inches, five inches, that's just exposed into the pan. This stick, this much had sludge. I started at the top and started squidging it down. I had a tablespoon of black blood pudding. Oh, it was disgusting. So I advised the customer. The customer didn't want to go with the synthetic, but I told him, I said, we have to get this out. I really want to save the life of your vehicle. So we ended up doing an Amsoil oil flush um, just for shits and giggles. I threw a bottle upper cylinder in there. So we did 
two full oil changes with a flush. So he drained his oil, changed the filter, filled it up, put the flush in there, ran that for 15 minutes, drained out that brand new oil, which came out disgusting, changed the filter again, put fresh oil, and I did advise the customer he's to come back to me in a thousand miles so we can do the oil change again. At that point, I'm gonna get, get him into St. Angelo. But hopefully, That's scary. yeah. That could have been it. Yeah, and it's, it's an older couple. You know, I mean, it, it, from what I understand, you know, the guy basically goes back and forth between Sam's Town, Walmart, and the doctor. So, I mean, that, that's kind of, you know, who cares about Sam's Town, Walmart? The gentleman's got to make it to the doctor. He's got a wife with him and all that oh, kind of stuff. I got so. something else to share with him, Jeff. Oh, fantastic. I made the number one this month. I saw that. In new qualified accounts and customers. Number with one. Angela. I got number one spot. So, basically, I... I am the most thorough at educating people how the products get things bought. And what do I get things bought for? Results. When people get these products, they're getting results that they can't get anywhere. And to me, that's what counts. It's Absolutely. like taking care of your body. It is. When you put in something organic, healthy, good and good out, make your blood strong, yeah. make something else strong. We're not going to talk about it. Your heart. Yes, your you heart. Go. Your heart. Yeah. Yes. And it's so important to take care of your car like taking care of your body. And uh, I was fortunate enough to make the number one spot with Angelo. And I thank all my preferred customers, dealers, everyone who's going to borrow my uh, trying products through my links. And it just means so much. And with that, Jeff, should we wrap her up? We got ourselves right here at Superstar. This guy has educated more people on Angelo. <laughs> than the entire group of people I know. Yeah, that's it. It's beautiful, Jeff. That works, it's short and to the Should we get short cheers to the protection, Jeff? Let's do it, what do I want? Ready? Cheers to, to protection, 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 protection. Beautiful. Beautiful.